So when we work at Scottsdale Health Partners to improve coordinated care, I think there's both a virtual layer and a physical layer. So that's sort of like the techie way to approach it, I guess. So at a physical layer, we've worked to improve the communication and the relationships between our physicians. Again, that might come through governance so that we might have surgeons and primary care physicians working on quality committees together. Um, but we've created now sort of a, a community where people interact with each other more uh, readily. To do that, we've facilitated communication through two main channels. One is we've created a secure texting solution so that physicians can talk back and forth with each other, oftentimes in real time. So if I'm seeing a patient in my office, she has some atypical chest pain, and I'm not sure if she really needs to see the cardiologist or not, I can securely message one of my cardiology colleagues, send a copy of the EKG, and in real time we can discuss whether or not um, that patient needs to be seen by her at, in, the, uh, in the cardiologist's office, or does she need to go to the emergency room, or I can follow this by myself. So while the technology sounds pretty exciting, it's taken us a while to uh, figure out how to drive adoption. And the, um, what we found in the initial uh, phases is like any um, uh, technology that involves people communicating, if you don't have a critical mass, of people uh, participating, then it's hard to get it started. So what we did is we created uh, incentives. Uh, so for example, being uh, continuing to be a, a member of Scottsdale Health Partners requires meaningful participation in our network. And using our technology is one way that you can get points towards that participation. So it begins to incentivize people to use a technology or at least test it out. And then it, once they see how easy it is and how useful it is, it starts to feed on itself.